Testing, testing. Hey guys, just want to make sure the audio is working before we get started. Can everybody hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yep, this should be pretty fun. We're going to do a uh, full convert for this one. Uh, I've already done some of the texture work, just playing with it last night when we first got it, just, uh, just to see how good the model was going to be, and uh, everything looks pretty straightforward. Don't really see anything too complicated on this model, so uh, we're going to try to get it in the game tonight as quick as we can. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the interior and the back, um, but luckily the manufacturer... Um, put blueprints on their website for the diagram of the floor and everything so <clears throat> we're just going to trace that and build the walls from the floor up and then uh, do some interior decorating <laughs> once we get it in uh, once we get it in the game so um, there is a little bit of stream delay I guess YouTube puts a little delay on the video so if I'm a little slow getting back to you guys in your chat comments then sorry about that and uh, excuse any of the any extra noise that might be in the room tonight. I have my grandson in here with me, so he's going to kind of watch us build this out. But this should go fairly quick, so I'm just going to make sure everything's chopped up in the pieces that it needs to be in, and uh, we'll get going see if we can actually get this in the game tonight from start to finish. All right, let me get the screen going here. And there she is. All righty. Get you guys back up so I can see the chat. All right, good. Glad you guys can hear me. I think I got a lot of our audio issues figured out last time. Um, everything seems to be a lot better now. Sorry about the delay in the building of the uh, stream series for the construction stuff. I've just been so busy on customer builds and everything this week. I haven't really had a chance to get a fresh episode out. I've got lots of new stuff in the shop. Um, a lot of new things to show off and play with. We just haven't gotten in there to do it. <clears throat> and since I've got you here, before everybody decides this is boring, I'm going to show you the new record that we've got coming out. So let me, let me launch this guy up here. Uh, let me delay the screen because it lags really bad. Give me one second, and we'll get the game loaded up here, and I'll show you guys the new wrecker. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm not mental. Uh, donated his uh, new script to the to get it, see if it would work on other people's models. So we're gonna see if uh, we got it working. So I'll let you guys take a look at it and see what you think. You guys can be the first ones to see it in action. I know he did his video um, that he put out on his channel, but uh, I'll uh, walk you through the steps and how the uh, yeah, don't look behind the curtain. I haven't cleaned it off lately. We'll uh, let you guys see it, see how sweet it is. He's really streamlined that script. It's uh, a lot easier to just drive around randomly, picking up cars, moving around, whatever you want to do. It has a built-in winch in it now. So when you back up to any random car, you just instantly attach to it and start pulling it up on the truck. And uh, it's pretty sweet. Oh, welcome. Welcome back. Yeah, the Peterbilt turned out really good. Um, we've got a twin steer that we're also going to get going here before long. That may p potentially be the next build after this. Um, I'm really wanting to do... I've got a really nice model of like a standard size, like a, uh, a repo size truck uh, tow wrecker. Um, I really want to get that convert it over and get it put in the game. It's going to go on the, the 2019 RAM body, and it's got a, a really sweet back uh, wrecker bed that's going to go on that one. So we'll get that going too. And I got this, I got the game up, so let's, <coughs> let me get the screen back on for you. And I'll show you guys this, uh, this tow truck that we got going on. All I've got left to do is to put all the lighting on it, and I think she'll be done. Uh, live scene. There we go. Alright. So let me get it spawned real quick. There we go. Got it up on the... Uh, we did the CT. I finally got it mapped and textured so we can actually paint the thing now. You can paint it. Uh, it has full library support. 
Um, yeah, it's delayed. There you go. You should have the live stream now. Everything is a little lagged, so it's just the delay YouTube puts on the video. Um, hey guys, welcome. Uh, so this is the new wrecker. I've uh, been playing around with it, trying to get everything fitted on it right. Ultimately, it's going to have the additional non-ELS lights put all over it. Uh, the toolboxes, I've just got some temporary ones on the side right now. That's ultimately going to have uh, working toolboxes that open up so you can get tools and stuff out. Um, we've got, I could create these bushes. We've got uh, library support on it. I've only made one so far. Uh, anybody that wants to, before this thing gets released, um, I'm, I mentioned it in the Discord earlier. Uh, if you're not in there, please join because we do a lot of discussion about how things should look and new mods coming up and stuff like that. Um, I published the template that uh, for the CT truck. This is ultimately going to be the body or the cab that's going to replace all of the CT models that I've got out there. So they'll all be mapped and textured so you can do libraries and everything for them. Uh, but anybody that wants to, if you have a really you know, if you're a good uh, ability at creating template or libraries and things like that, you're more than welcome to make one and uh, uh, submit it, and we'll get it published with the initial release of the mod. And uh, of course, you'll get credits and everything listed in there for donating. Um, anybody that wants to do that, that's more than welcome. Um, so let's see. This is just one I played with earlier. And it looks pretty good on several different colors, so it's just whatever your preference is. It really stands out pretty good on black, so. Yep, it's the CT660, it's the model. Yeah, I know. So this is this is the truck. And of course, I mean, the, it's all the basic truck, same as the ones for the other vehicles I've done in the game. Uh, we just added uh, I'm Not Mental's wrecker portion onto the back of it. Uh, but now I'll show you what his uh, script and everything does. Hey, welcome to the stream. Appreciate all you new guys tuning in. I noticed we got a lot of new subs and stuff this week, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the channel. We do lots of these vehicle builds, a lot of new development work and stuff we do, we put on here. Um, also, the construction series, I'll have a new episode of that out as soon as possible. I've just been so tied up with a lot of these new builds that we've had going on this week that uh, it's just, things just keep getting pushed off. Uh, but anyway, so once you've got this thing loaded up and you've got the tow script that's built in, uh, let's just zip around here and find a parked car somewhere. I know there's typically some over here at the police station, so let's go let's see if we can snatch one of them up. But yeah, this thing turned out pretty good. Uh, any feedback on it, anything you guys think would look better, changing it up or anything like that, just let me know. Um, the length of the, the bed is kind of the way it is. Um, uh, if, I mean, we can always shorten it a little bit, but, you know, typically they do overhang quite a bit in the back, past the rear axles, just so they have uh, clearance and everything. So anyway, once you find a vehicle you want, as you're starting to back up, just tap the X button and it'll slide the, the ramps back and you'll get a green dot for the vehicle that you want to actually pick up and whenever you're ready to get it just tap X again if this guy doesn't be stupid and you see it pops a winch out and it starts pulling the vehicle up onto the truck it works pretty good from the front and of course it works great if it's not hit by a car in the process and then it gets on there and then once you got it loaded up you just hit X again as you roll forward and it'll pull it right back up on the truck and you're good to go and that's all there is to it pulls it in nice locks it down uh, you can also do some of the functions from outside the vehicle so like let's say you get over here and you're ready to dump the car off <clears throat> as you're backing up you just uh, get, once you get start getting close to the area you want it, you just tap X again, and it starts letting it back. Yep. Once you get it out, you just hop out of the vehicle, walk up to it, 
and hit X, and it just rolls right off. Yeah, he did. A, he, he outdid himself on it this time. This one, uh, this one's seamless. I, I haven't found a bug with it yet. So, and as you pull up, just tap X again, and roll back. will just slide right back up on it. You're ready to go off and pick up something else. Yeah, that thing turned out sweet. So, and. You know, I, I think he's going to work some other developers too as well, so you'll probably start seeing a lot of the fully automated vehicles like this. Um, uh, it is on 5M, actually. He's already had, uh, his base scripts have already been converted by some developer out there. I don't know what his name was, um, but he had mentioned that to me earlier, that somebody's already converted the original scripts, and he's already sent the code and everything to the... Um, of the new version to the developer so you can get it converted for 5M and hopefully get it get it updated so everybody will be able to enjoy it. But that's the truck. Once I get all the lights and stuff on it, we'll uh, we'll get another demo of that going on, but <clears throat> the main purpose of this video is for the build of the uh, RV, so let's get that going on and just see if we can get that in here tonight. Um, this is a super detailed model. Um, very expensive. Uh, we really appreciate the donor. Um, you guys can uh, jump in the Discord and uh, thank him as well. It's actually tagged in there. And uh, we're going to see if we can get it going. So, like I said, yesterday when I loaded it up, I was checking the poly level and stuff like that, making sure it was going to be pretty viable to put in the game. Um, overall, I'm pretty sure the the uh it was like yeah the whole model's like 176 poly 100 176k yeah and no console would be yeah unfortunately it probably will never get there so invest in a pc if you really want to get in here and have fun i mean the possibilities are endless for the stuff you can do in here so um me personally i don't really play the game much i i just love making the vehicles so um you know, the, the RP community is really, really huge right now. So I'm trying to get a lot of these vehicles and stuff made like this so people can be a little bit more immersive in their role playing and stuff like that. So um, it has a, it has the receiver, so I've got plenty of hitches. So I'll just throw one back there so that you can... I think I had a tow dolly at one point. So at, at some point I may release a tow dolly just trailer to pull vehicles and stuff behind. There may already be one on five mods, I'm not sure. I think there was like a stock GTA one that was done a long time ago, but I've, I've never really messed with it. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I just I just want to get this in game. This is a super nice model. It has like the cab is super nice. It has the full blown interior in it. <clears throat> we just need to clean up the textures. Obviously they're, they've got some color overlaying them. So what's up Swaggy, welcome. Um, so we'll get this cleaned up. And like I said, the only thing it's missing is the interior in the back, which isn't really a big deal because the manufacturer was nice enough to put their full blueprints on their website. So what, after we get this thing converted, get it put in the game, I'll do the interior in the back as a secondary, uh, stream or whatnot, or just do it off to the side, whatever. So at least if we have the floor blueprints of the exact model, we can just go in there and build out the floor, you know, extrude the floor all the way up, and we have our walls. And then we can fill it in with doors or anything else on the inside that we want to do just to make it look more realistic. <clears throat> Put some furniture in it and whatnot. So, so we'll get started on this. I'm going to go ahead and finish the textures up real quick and just make sure we've got everything looking good. Luckily, the model's, you know, straight from the, uh, the creator. Uh, I think it was a Turbo Squid model that was purchased for this. Um, it came fully mapped, fully textured. It's already broke out in just the few pieces that we need almost to do the conversion. Um, so it's already, it's had a lot of the legwork already done on it. And since it's already templated out, You'll be able to have library support and stuff right off the bat, so you could do custom racing racing themes on it. You know, whatever you could possibly come up with. So, uh, I'm just gonna step through these textures. 
Uh, a lot of these I've already done. Oh, I know. Yeah, trust me. Uh, I get recommendations constantly in the Discord, so we'll, uh, uh, you know, I would, one thing at a time. <laughs> my list, like I tell everybody else, my list is so long right now, I'm never going to finish it. But yeah, I have plans to, because I've got the rock crawlers, I've got those finished. I've got the, I've got the big text trailer that we finished up last week or week before. Um, I want to do a camper hauler type deal of some shape or form. I hadn't really decided yet. This may be a good base to use for something like that. Um, but we'll, we'll come up with something. Um, anybody that's new, please join the discord love feedback you know suggestions things you guys would like to see in the game we're always you know it, it seems like a trend now where the community is kind of coming together and you know throwing in a model here and there that they really <clears throat> want to come together and see in the game so you guys are welcome to get in on that and throw your suggestions in the hat for things that you want to see um i hope everybody's enjoying the boat i hope it turned out okay um i haven't really noticed any issues with it real bad the attacher scripts kind of flaky the for some reason boats just do not attach right in the game uh, if you take any of the boats that are in the game and try to attach it to it it does the same thing it but you take a car and drive it up on the back of that boat trailer it attaches perfect so it's just something about boats and the way their dimensions are that things just don't sit exactly the way they're supposed to so it's not perfect but at least it gets the boat out of the water so it's better than just having it constantly fall off the trailer. Alright, so most of these I've already done. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and I, like I said, I don't, I don't think it was that particular model. For some reason, there's... If you have any trailer in the game whatsoever, and its weight is over so much like for whatever reason I think I was playing with a tank at one point trying to hold load a tank on the trailer so I was just bumping the weights up and up and up on the trailer to see if it would make a difference and you know how it, how the characteristics of how it would hold the tank um, and I think it got up to like 50,000 or something like that for the weight and for some reason if it reads that weight in on that one trailer every single trailer in the 5m server starts bouncing all over the place don't know why um, so, just going to continue on here, just getting these textures done. <sighs> See, most of these, when you import them, they're just straight colors. They don't actually have a texture on them. So most of the stuff that you got was just the regular, you know, libraries and logos and badges and stuff like that. Everything else is just kind of a base color, and you just have to set the corresponding uh, adapt settings to make it look right. Oh yeah, it, it, it's every trailer in the game. It doesn't matter. If you have that config in a vehicle meta file and it loads that meta file, it'll start doing, hey Ace, what's going on man? Appreciate you jumping on. Um, for whatever reason, if it's in any meta file, when your server loads it up and it sees that weight on that trailer, it literally makes every trailer in the game start bouncing. I don't know why it did it. Several servers back in the day had that problem. <clears throat> Whenever I get around to it, I'll eventually go back and update all those meta files and clean those up on my original mods. It's just not something that's been on my priority list. So, just kind of doing as many new things as we can. We'll uh, get back and do cleanup one day on some of those older mods. And honestly, a lot of them need to be redone just because they're kind of aging. So. So we're doing black. Dun, dun, dun. I don't want to do black, black. I'll do off black because it'll look like gray, gray trim. And I need to change this first. I'm going to go ahead and change this. If you've never done textures, this is where you do all of your texture work. 
So you have your material browser, which is all the different textures that you could possibly load. And then you have your materials. Your materials contain all the adaptations and diffuse maps and stuff like that for what each characteristic of that texture looks like. So you could have five different blacks in the game and every one of them could have a different adaptation. And, uh, you know, each one does different things. So some could be shiny, some could be flat, some could be clear. You know, it just depends on what you set it to. So let's get going here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and convert this to kind of a mesh. And then we can go in here and play with these. Map. Uh, use a default dirt map. Spec map on this is going to be black. Take some of that shine off of it. Environment map set, so we're done with that one. The orange glass. This is going to be light emissive. Yep, welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We're just trying to get this RV in the game as quick as we can. I think it's going to be a really fun vehicle for everybody to play with. We're going to have the, the pop-outs on the side come out and everything, so it's going to be really sweet. Alright. Let me see. We'll use our light texture. Everything else is good. And before I get too crazy, let's go ahead and fix that. So we have our headlight housings. I swear this tool's ridiculous sometimes. You have to move something in front of the screen to get it to just release itself. I don't understand why it's that way. Like literally you move something in front of it, it's like, oh, I'm free, I'm not stuck anymore. So let's go in here. Make sure everything's unselected. We want to select by material. We want to pick that uh, orange glass that we were playing with. So that pulled up everything here, and we're going to actually break that off from the actual headlight housing because we want those to be our indicators. So go ahead and do that. So now that we've got those, and <clears throat> every light has a light ID. Um, um, so you can go, I think it's one of the five mods forums. If you're ever doing lights, you can get all the IDs, what each individual piece, like every light in the game, what ID number it needs assigned to it. So indicators in the front are five and six. So, um, if you've ever had to do lights and you don't know how, you just do it this way. So let me break both of these apart because you have to have two separate indicators. These are, no, I'm not doing the LEDs in this. This is just going to be stock. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we'll take this one. Once you're going to set on your align IDs, you just go up here to external state under the properties. And like I said, uh, front indicators are five and six. So five is left, six is right. All right, man. Appreciate you coming around. We'll, we'll still be here. Um, once you assign that light ID, you just apply it. And then you also want to toggle the vertex level. Um, once you're on the vertex level, you're going to do the same thing. Sorry about the flipping back and forth. This thing's being really laggy for some reason.
comes out some of the stuff. Alright, so you're also going to assign line ID 5 to that. And then your front left indicator is done. You just leave it separate. It'll get put under its own dummy later on. Hey guys, welcome. Trying to get this uh, new RV built. So, hope you guys stick around for a little bit and just kind of pick up on a few things. Uh, if you're in the process of making some of your own mods and just trying to look and see how things work. Um, I try to cover most things as I go through these. So. I'm going to have to save this and close this out. This is just lagging for some reason. So once we're in here, yeah, I'm going to have to save this. Something's got us locking down. Let me close this out and reopen it. Hey guys, welcome. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up fresh. I've had so many things in this today, ain't no telling. level, do the same thing. Oh, goodness. Okay. Vertex level 6. And that's it for your indicators. At least the front ones, anyway. horrible to not. Okay, so that's that. So we're going to have indicator right front. Indicator left front. That's our indicators. Uh, headlights. stream and this at the same time or what, but it's uh it's being difficult. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be tedious. Let's select that by material. Just pull all of it off. Chrome. There we go. We don't really want all of it. that we want to light up because really we only want this part and this part lighting up. I think this right here is front indicator. 
so these will get broken out and attached to the other indicator lights and uh, be part of that uh, mesh piece. So let's get rid of that. So body. Um, it doesn't have a motor, but I actually have a motor to go in this, so let's go ahead and This is ridiculous. I can't even break any of this stuff up. It's just lagging so bad. What is this doing? Sorry guys, having some technical difficulties. This thing's lagging horrible. I don't know what's causing it. No resource problems whatsoever. Just randomly stop it for no reason. Just get everything named tonight, I guess. So we got our headlight. Yeah, we'll just call it headlights. That'll be fun. Uh, the wheels. I don't know if I want to use these wheels or not. Maybe the wheels. The tire. The tire texture is kind of eh. I don't really. It's, I don't know why they put white on it. That's kind of weird looking. So we may not end up using those. I got plenty of other tires I can throw in here. Yeah, this is going to be a public mod. This is the one that we had a individual in our Discord donate it yesterday to get it finished and built. So once it's done, we'll release it on five mods as a public release. Uh, so wheels, uh, I'll figure something out for those later. Definitely going to do different tires on those. Uh, headlights, doors. Doors are already fully finished. We just need to break the glass out of them. And they've got door jams, seals, everything is perfect on this model. So this will be great. And this is completely hampering me from doing anything. Breaking stuff apart. So I don't understand what's going on with it. Sorry guys, I don't know what's what the deal is with this. It's just being so stupid slow. I've never had to do this before. Let me make sure I'm not running out of disk space or something for some reason. Nope, got plenty of room. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe they pushed out an update and it's got something wrong with it. So anyway, we're going to take the glass and pop these pieces out because they need to be windows. This is right front, so this will be window RF. And this will be door RF. These are not the real names. I'll fix these when I get the uh, base model imported. And uh, <clears throat> we'll get them cut up and broke into the individual categories that they need to be in. Yeah, I don't know why it's lagging. I mean, it literally has never done it this bad before. It's just being stupid for some reason. Any other time of the day, I mean, it's, I've literally been using it and not had any issues today whatsoever. But sure as anything, as soon as I start streaming, it wants to be stupid. So, we got our left door. We're just going to do the same thing over here and pop the window out. As soon 
because it decides to let me do something. So there's our left window. Oops. Window LF. No, my voice is really deep. It's not the mic. I'm I'm old. I'm not a kid. <laughs> so sorry about that. If it's hard to hear me, just say something and I'll jack the volume way up. Alright, so it's going to be door LF. And yeah, we'll just get these laid out where we need them. Uh, steering wheel is already set. Headlights, dash. I don't know, it's ridiculous, man. I don't, I don't get it. I can use this stuff all day long, every day, and I have problems. And randomly, it just wants to have problems. It don't even make sense. Like, I mean, I've done streams tons of times and not had problems, and then just today it wants to be done. It probably needs to be rebooted. There ain't no telling. No, I'm like 38. I'm not 25. I wish I was still 25. Alright, so our dash is good. Still need to clean the textures up that were part of the dash. Let's go ahead and do that while we can see it by itself. Turn that off so we can see. Make it a little bigger. Plastic. We already did that plastic. Chrome. And then I swear it seems like it just wants to save constantly more than it's just more annoying than it normally is. But we'll try to muddle through it best we can. Car body. Car body is at the. That's the library tab. So we're going to take that. I'll convert it last because we'll need to do some different stuff on that one. Rubber. Black. There's another black. That one's already done. There's our interior texture. So we're just going to make this interior. We need to take the color off of it so we can see it. You know, I would turn it off, but sure as anything, I turn it off and then I'll lose everything I'm working on. And just not ever want to do it again. So we'll just stick with waiting. Yeah, see, they did some really good textures on this model. This looks nice. So there's that. Our pump map. Is set. That is actually going to be a missive because we actually want all that stuff. Well, not all of it. So we'll, we'll figure that out. Some of it we're going to want to light up. Some of it we're not. Interior leather. Let's go ahead and convert that to interior. stuff off. Did it seriously not have a leather texture? It's got a bump map. I said it doesn't have a color. <coughs> Parts? No. I don't, I don't sell anything unlocked. I invest way too much time to just give stuff away, unfortunately. Uh, El Camino's in the group. Uh, he's in our Discord. He he will custom make parts on request if you're looking to have something done. Uh, you can reach out to him. There's also several other people in the Discord. Just jump in there and ask around. 
uh, for people that make stuff from scratch. Um, I personally just don't. It's never been something I've done. So. All right. So detail level. Let's do. There it is. It just didn't have it on it. So that's that spec map. Appreciate it. Oops, that looks good. I don't like the shine though, so I'm going to get rid of that by using a black spec map. And that'll just take the shine off of it so it's not as shiny. So there's that. And another leather here. Make it interior. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Any of the new people joining? Hope you're enjoying it. Just trying to get this RV done. Welcome. Just going through doing all of our <coughs> settings on our textures and stuff right now. Appreciate it, man. I'll have a new construction episode out soon. I've just been tied up on a couple of customer builds, community builds. Things have just been a little behind. I haven't really had as much time to get one of those going. I've had tons of new stuff for the shop that's in it. I just haven't had a chance to get in there and show it off to everybody yet. Yep, yep, this will be public when it's finished, so everybody will get to enjoy it. This is actually a donation from a community member, and from time to time when that happens, we uh, try to get things made if everybody's, if it's something that a lot of people are really wanting, then we usually jump in and try to get it done and get it put out there for everybody to play with. So, what was this called? This texture or not. No, it didn't. So we'll just use the same one if it maps right. And of course it don't. So we won't use that. We'll just keep it black and shiny, I guess. It's probably where an airbag's at anyway. Yeah, he's great. Love his videos. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. It had the bump map built into it. It just needed a color texture on it. so we can see it. That does not look like the right texture. Interesting. We have to scale that. Maybe it's just the way it looks. I don't know. That's, oh, I bet I know what it is. It's probably the spec map. Let's go dark with it. Or that's not the right text. 
texture. Maybe that's the bottom of the truck. Okay. Should be the carpet. So let's see. Yeah, it's carpet. We have to switch to a different carpet. That for some reason that texture does not look right. So let's check the map on that. Keep old mappings. Anytime you want to look at the maps, make sure you have keep old mapping turned on. And then let it run. It'll analyze everything, and then you'll get an output in your UV mapper over here of how everything's actually mapped onto that texture. So just jump over here and find the material. Here, carpet. It's all mapped good, but it looks weird. Oh shoot, I know what I gotta do, hold on. Let's go ahead and take all of this. And make sure we have all of our formats set right. Let's see if that made any difference. It's a strange texture on that carpet. It just does not look right for some reason. I'm thinking it's not fully mapped. I'm thinking they might have forgot about that part. I mean, it looks mapped here, but the texture they're using, I'm thinking, is too small. So what we can do is take this map, and hopefully it doesn't screw everything up. We can scale it. See if it's just messing with the carpet. Looks like it is. Looks like they just didn't have the right size texture on it. Alrighty. Once it gets done saving, taking 10 minutes to save, we'll be good. It's alphabetical, why would it not be? Let's see. That looks like it might be a decent color. building stuff. Trying to get this RV going on. Yeah, it was that texture. Something was messed up with it. Of course this one's way too uh, too big so we'll have to scale it just a pinch but I think that'll look better. Um, and I'm gonna have to... I don't have a bump map 
for that, so I'm gonna have to make one. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying it. This is kind of tedious building stuff, but hopefully it uh, gives you guys just a glimpse into some of the new stuff we're doing and kind of let you hang out for a little bit and see what we got going on. There'll be new episodes of the construction series coming out soon. I hope to get one made this weekend. Um, got some additions to the shop that we've done. Um, the new record. Be sure you go back and watch this stream because at the beginning of it we showed off and demoed the new uh, uh, CT660 wrecker with uh, I'm Not Mental's new script and it's amazing so be sure to go back and look at like at least the first 15 minutes of the video and see what you guys think. I think it's going to be amazing. Alright, so let me let me open this texture up scale it and it'll look like a nice carpet. So we already got it selected. Let's just move it up until everything gets nice and tiny. So it looks like real carpet. Uh, maybe too much. Let's bring it back down just a little bit. Get it just right. There we go. It looks close to carpet. Not perfect, but it looks good. And of course, we're going to have to change the textures on these seat belts. They just reuse the same texture there. Carpet does not work on a seat belt, sorry. So let's go ahead and put our insides back on. Seats are all leather. That looks good. Got our nodules. Dash. There we go. It's looking nice. It's going to look really good. Cool. So there's that. So these modules, we're going to have these set up to when you toggle the boot or trunk. Hey man, welcome. Um, they're going to slide out each respectively on their sides. So they'll just move in and out like so. Um, let me see which one I picked. So, once we get the get everything configured, they'll just slide right out. And once the interior is built, you know, it'll have couches, seats, whatever, on those sections. And as they move in and out, <coughs> they'll look really cool. So, let me get these set back in position for now. Closed.
So there's that one. So it's going to look good. And van module left. I'll push it back in. Just get it out of the way. Welcome, guys. And there we go. So I think I saved this last night. So like I was telling you guys earlier, luckily <clears throat> the manufacturer um, left us their blueprints. So we can actually go in here and <laughs> trace out the floor plan and actually put the bed, the pantry, the counters, the seating areas. We can put it in the game exactly how we need it to. So this inside diagram should fit perfectly inside the back of the um, inside the back of the RV once we get it laid out and then extruded to build the walls up and everything. So we'll get it as close as possible, but I don't think it'll be a big deal getting them in there. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But I think everybody will have fun with it. I think it's going to be a neat mod. It'll go along good with the boat and everything that we just finished. So we've got the modules. The body is done. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for joining. Thanks for all the new subs, everybody that's hopping in here. I'm enjoying having everybody. So let's see. We've got our indicators. Dash is done. Door. That's the back door. So obviously they just left it a hole because... There's no interior, but we'll get that cleaned up. Um, so that's done. This will probably actually end up being a door right rear. Go ahead and move it down here. Uh, these will be boot. Cargo door for our movement functions. I'm pretty sure I haven't even seen the bass boat. Did somebody put out a bass boat video? Did you put one out already, Ace? <laughs> I haven't even seen it yet. I'll have to check that out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate that. Yeah, this will be great. I see a lot of 5M servers getting a lot of use out of this. So I think... Let me make sure this isn't going to be too big. I'm going to have to clean that. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I've already done the verts on it, so the verts are going to be a little too high. So I guess we'll just do all the back as like miscellaneous parts. So we'll just do these all as messy gays. For the actual back body. Now the truck body is going to be low enough. Yeah, it'll be good enough that we can just... Uh, do these as body shell, maybe. That one really don't even need to be body shell, I guess. Let's see. So that is definitely body shell. This is going to be chassis, I think. I don't think I'm going to put that on body shell. Hey, man. Welcome. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Try to get a little bit earlier of a start tonight. Trying to see if we how much of this thing we can get in here. Hopefully we can get this knocked out this weekend. I really hope to get it in game. No later than tomorrow. I really wanted to do it tonight. I may continue off the air. Working on it tonight and hopefully get it at least game ready. And then we can start playing with the functions, designing the back interior, and getting it cleaned up and decorated and everything. Thanks for the sub, guys. So that's chassis. This is going to be chassis. Those are the back body seat. 
is going to be by itself because sometimes we need to tweak the seat so I don't like permanently attaching those to the chassis. So we'll just call that Mystic S. And like I said, the wheels and tires I may change out because these are kind of the, the tire textures they use. I mean, they look great overall on the sides, but I don't like how they went super, super white on the, uh, the tread pattern. I mean, they did it obviously to show the tread pattern, but I think we can do better than that. That's going to be all of our tail lights and all of our extra lights on the back. We'll save that to last because I'll have to do a lot of cutting up on those. Dash. Dash is going to be chassis. If all this fits as chassis, I'll have to measure it and see. And I think that's it. I really, really don't think it'll take long to get this in game. I need to see if there's any suspension up under it. I don't think there was, so we may have to build out a frame and do all the axles and stuff under it, but I've got plenty of those that we can use. This mod, this particular one, and like I said, like I've told everybody before, you get what you pay for. So the person that bought this, I think this model was almost $200, I'm not joking. It was a Turbo Squid model. And you, when you get up paying that kind of money, you know, you're going to get stuff that's fully mapped already, has interior everywhere, <clears throat> all the parts are broken up, everything is almost game-ready size. You don't really have to do a lot of poly work to it or anything like that. Um, so... Getting a mod like this, I mean, I could knock one of these out in a day easy. I mean, this is a, a day to three or four hours max to get this in the game. It really wouldn't be that big a deal. Um, when you get into the cheaper models, the hum models, stuff like that, those, I mean, I've spent, I've done some in the past that I had to cut down so much, I probably spent at least a week on it. You know, a full 40 hour week, easy cutting that stuff down, getting it cleaned up, and getting everything the way it should be. So, it just depends on what you want. I mean, these these are by far the way to go. If you're looking at getting into doing mods and stuff, you may pay more money for these, but in the end, they're going to look a thousand times better and look a lot more um, feature-rich than some of the other ones. Like, the, the, the big thing you want to pay attention to is a model that has door jams. If you have a model that has door jams, that is definitely one you want to go with. Um, because if you don't, uh, odds are they're not going to be... So for example, on the doors, they're not going to have their interior sides. So they won't have the seals and the trim and all the insulation and this stuff here. And you'll have to make all that from scratch. If you watch some of my other videos, you see me doing that kind of stuff. And that's why those models take so long to do, just because it's it's tedious getting all the seams and everything sealed up like they need to be. So it's definitely best to go with a higher quality model if you can afford it. Um, so let's see how big all these are. That is too big, so dash is going to need to be separate. Let's call it D. And then our chassis pieces, that's close. 60K, once you get close to 60K, you can have problems. So you want to keep all of these poly vert sizes and poly sizes under 60K if you can help it. Um, I mean, you can break things up into a million miscellaneous parts. The game doesn't care. So you could have 40 Mystic A parts if you wanted to. Um, and it would accomplish the same thing, but the big thing is making sure you stay away from individual pieces or multiple pieces that you want to attach. Just make sure you don't go over that 64K mark. If you do, and I can show you an example of what happens when you do that, um, typically it does it more on the poly side than the vert side, but if verts are over 60k, that can also cause the same problems, even if you don't see distortion in the model. 
So what happens is if you've got multiple multiple pieces that are over the 60k mark. Let me see if I can get one that'll go up. I really don't want to just attach all these, but anyway. So anytime you get up over 60k and you attach these, your model's just going to like twist and rip into itself and look horrible. And you'll know it the minute it happens because it looks like absolute garbage. Um, if it happens, just control Z or back up and undo it and start breaking your model pieces up into smaller chunks. Just do, like I said, do as many miscellaneous A, B, C, D. You can go all the way to Z if you need to. Or you can just keep doing the same letter. It really doesn't matter to the game. And uh, just get them all broke up like that and just leave them inside your hierarchy when you build it out. We'll go over that when we get to it. And uh, Sorry guys, I'm having a brain fart for a minute. Uh, once you do that, you just put them inside your, your hierarchy, just like between chassis and body shell somewhere with all the doors and everything else. Um, you just put it in there and just put it as your uh, lot zero. When you build your compounds here, we'll go over doing that too when we get to it. Um, but that's really all it is. So It's not too bad. You watch these videos enough, you'll, you guys will pick up on this stuff. And if, if it's a hobby you really like, you'll get into it just like I did. I've, I've been addicted to it for three years and I still can't put it down. So it's, uh, it's fun getting in your building dream cars and stuff that you'd never really get to do in real life. So it's a great platform for it. And a lot of people seem to enjoy it. So, so let's see. So I think that is it for breaking the parts of, you know, breaking everything up. Um, Let's go ahead and attach our two chassis pieces and just get those. As you can see, I'm using the attach tool under modify, modify attach tool. And you just click one part, drag it to the next part, and it hooks them together. <clears throat> and as long as you're, uh, appreciate it, guys. And uh, as long as you're not over that poly count or vert count of 60K, then you're good to go for that piece. So you just click the one piece here, drag it to the other piece, and they become one. So now they're just one piece. So that'll be our chassis. Uh, actually, I forgot that we need to break this off. Let me, go. Let me save it one more time, because this... Once again, I'm sorry for all the lag tonight. I really think my computer needed a reboot before I started doing this. But uh, not much we can do about it after the fact. So we'll get this going. Yeah, unfortunately with all the lag, I don't know that we're going to make it the full two hours on this one. It's a lot of wasted time. So a lot of this I'll probably finish up off the air and uh, see how far we can get. I really, 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 really think we can get it in the game this weekend. Maybe not a release this weekend, unless it looks fantastic when I get it in the game. Um, but uh, once we get it in there, we'll get it out on five mods for everybody to play with. Um, I think that's going to be it. I really wanted to end this off on a round number, but you know, I think that's a, a good stopping point um, just due to the lag problems we're having. I uh, shouldn't be too busy this weekend, so hopefully I can get, like I said, another construction episode out. Um, we've done some really cool stuff to the shop. Um, some decorating in our office and stuff that we finally got some pieces in. So I think you guys will get a kick out of some of that. And uh, got uh, some new equipment on the way that I'm working on. Um, I'm really trying to get a mini excavator finished. Um, I really want that to go with a bobcat so we can start doing some uh, like house building episodes and stuff like that. So... So we'll get that going on this weekend, and uh, I'm going to keep plugging away on this thing and see if we can get it finished out. Uh, wish, hope everybody joins the Discord, keep it up, you know, up, to, up to date on everything we're doing. Um, I solicit feedback from you guys all the time. It's always appreciated. 
anything you want to see in models, things that need to be done, you'd like to see done, you know, just go on there and put in requests left and right. So as you can see, these requests have came in over the last couple of days and we've, you know, full blown went into them, trying to get them in as fast as we can for everybody. So we'll, uh, we'll probably just keep doing this trend as a community and uh, just uh, kind of doing, giving you guys an outlet to get things done that you want to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I really appreciate all you guys tuning in and hanging out. Sorry we couldn't make it the full two hours, but uh, uh, be sure you go back and check out the first half of the video um, so you can see the new wrecker in action. Um, hope we can get that out uh, pretty soon. Uh, i got to work with I'm Not Mental and see what his schedule looks like for releases. I know he had said, I think July 7th is what he was shooting for, but he said if we get this one done and we want to get it out early, he would move his timetable up if we want to. So we'll see how that goes. So maybe you'll see something early next week for that. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good one, and uh, see you next time.